okay since it goes by actually not the state but the city name let's use somewhere some city along California such as Los Angeles here we go so we're gonna change time zone to PST now and next we are going to statistics software configuration we want to tick everything so you can use all available stats here save it and you can set active by default and just tick everything because you're going to use um, all of this by yourself so I'm not explaining how to set up the web host manager for you to host clients but this particular guide is to actually set everything up just for you and your personal use so don't follow this guide if you are thinking of setting up your server for other people or to have your own clients or to resell your space to other people don't follow this guide but follow the other guide which I am going to provide as well and the other you can leave as it is next as you can see we have tweak settings but I'm not going to discuss this particular section because you can safely uh, leave it as it is at the moment so you can start hosting your sites faster because you're not going to resell or host other people's websites here so you can just skip this part for now you can tweak it at a later time if your one of your website requires some of the functions here to be changed so we're going to skip this and going to update preferences now always use the the automatic stable tree okay so when you set this cPanel will automatically update the software to the latest table release and choose automatic for for cPanel package updates as well so everything is already good if yours aren't set this way make sure you change it right now okay so here support we're going to skip this whole section because we are setting up just for you to be able to host your own websites networking setup I'm going to cover that part later at the end of this video when we are ready to actually host our first website so before we do that I'm going to walk you through to set up the whole name server um, configuration now on security center I would uh, recommend just leave everything as it is now and I'm going to discuss uh, a whole new section on how you can secure your uh, web host manager server later on so let's just skip the whole thing here and move forward server contacts you would want to change this and update to your email address now roots email currently not being forwarded so you need to forward your roots email to your own email address okay I'm gonna type vpsguide at gmail dot com nobody's email going to root and cPanel's email going to root as well and you need to click change actually I'm gonna click change go back here this set to root so it'll go to my email address now the contact manager here um, you can set your own preferences but it's pretty straightforward I'm not going to go through to discuss this because it's not really important so you can choose your own preference here if you want okay so next uh, the resellers part we're going to skip this because you're not going to host other people's websites 
and I'm not going to discuss this but we're going to um, walk you through on how you can resell or host other people's website on a separate video guides so we're going to skip the resellers functionalities at the moment here um, server configuration you can also um, skip all of this because you don't really need to configure everything out uh, we'll just mm, go along as needed so if any of your website requires um, you to alter this configuration you you can do that but I wouldn't think you will be doing that because with the basic initial configuration that is enough for you to start hosting your websites the same with um, loca locales and you can just keep this just for your um, internationaliz internationalization configuration um, backups I'm going to discuss this on a separate video in depth as well so we're going to skip this and the point of this video is to get you started to start hosting your website right away so any other functions that's not related to that directly I'm going to skip it